Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're interested in seeing what I made for this week, then just keep on watching. These are all the items that I will be working with today. And all of these items are from the Dollar Tree and I have a variety of tennis balls, brain teasers, dice, etc. So the first thing I'm gonna be working with is the wood and I'm just gonna start off by peeling the sticker off and then I'm going to glue these in a square shape and I will be using my wood glue to do that. Next, I have these napkin rings and also these tennis balls. I'm basically using the napkin ring as a guide to keep the tennis balls in place as I glue them around the napkin ring in a circle, which I am mimicking these cute bubble candles that you guys see in the upper right hand corner. Now I'm working with this foam dice and I'm basically going to glue them on top of each other in a zigzag pattern. I'm really not gonna do anything with these items here. I'ma just take them outside to be spray painted. So now that we're outside, I'll be using my black semi-gloss spray paint and I'm just gonna cover everything. So I'll be working with my wood first. I'm gonna take these mirror tiles and I'm gonna glue them around the border of my frame. And I'm gonna also do the same thing for the second frame.
I'll be working with my dice necks and I will be using these rectangle mirror towels. And I did put glue on the first mirror towel, but then I realized that these mirror towels are self adhesive and they adhere to the dice pretty well. So that's why you guys see me just sticking the mirror towels on from this point on out. Once I was done sticking all my mirror towels on, I removed any excess glue strings, cleaned my mirrors off, and then I had something that looked like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's projects. If so, please like, comment, and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you.